Anybody can go down 300 to 3,000 feet in the mine, sure and hell can learn how to program as well. As a, Joe, if you know how to fix any of these things, why didn't you do it? If you were going to bring jobs to Americans, why'd you push for NAFTA and TPP? Um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Like many in our region, we have voted Democrats for decades. We have watched as our constituents' jobs left not only the Iron Range, but our country. I want to have the uh, Virginia Mayor Cuffey present just a small token of our appreciation. And something unexpected happened. A straight-talking New Yorker burst onto the scene promising to stand up to China and the rest of the world on behalf of the American worker. Four years later, the Iron Range is roaring back to life, and we have one man to thank, President Donald Trump. Brothers of the My Rejoice! Sing, sing, sing with me! Raise a bigger, raise a voice! Sing, sing, sing with me! Four more years! He made good on his promises by cutting our taxes, rolling back senseless regulations, and delivering trade deals that put America's interests first. And that person was saying for months that there's no way that Donald Trump can break the blue wall, right? <laughs> they crack in the blue wall. Um, it has to do with trade. Joe Biden has allowed radicals like AOC to craft his environmental policies. Their so-called Green New Deal is a job-killing disgrace dreamt up by people who don't live in the real world. We shattered that sucker. We shattered. We shattered. But the fight is not over. But Biden is too weak, too scared, and too sleepy to stand up to the radical left. He has been doing nothing in Washington for 47 years. Why would year 48 be any different? Guess what, Joe? If you could fix anything, if you could fix a freaking thing, why didn't you do it in the first half a century? of your career. Like many in our region, we have voted Democrats for decades. We have watched as our constituents' jobs left not only the Iron Range, but our country. By putting tariffs on our products and thousands of jobs, supporting bad trade deals, politicians like George, Joe Biden did nothing to help the working class in the last eight years. I mean, I've heard of late starters, Stephen. You know, I know guys that take a little while to warm up, like six yeah. months into a job, maybe a year. He's been there for half a fucking century. Okay, like, I mean. We lost thousands of jobs, and generations of young people have left the Iron Range in order to provide their families with good paying jobs elsewhere outside the state of Minnesota. Anybody could go down 300 to 3,000 feet in the mine, sure and hell can learn how to program as well. Today, we don't recognize the Democratic Party. It has been moved so far to the left, it can no longer claim to be advocates of the working class. It has been moved so far to the left that it can no longer claim to be advocates of the working class. I repeat that. 
The hardworking Minnesotans that built their lives and supported their families here on the Iron Range have been abandoned by the radical Democrats. We didn't choose to leave the Democratic Party. The party left us. And I didn't realize before that we were really Republicans in Democrats' clothing. <laughs> Yet for four years, something wonderful happened four years ago. Donald J. Trump was elected President of the United States, and he stood up to China, implemented tax cuts, and fought for the working class. Now, four years later, the Iron Range is roaring back to life, and for the first time in a very long time, locals are hopeful because this president's policies and willingness to fight for us is real. <laughs> Lifelong politicians like, I'll say just the other candidate, are out of touch with the working class out of touch with the country needs, and out of touch with those of us here on the Iron Range and in small towns like ours across this great nation. In this election, there is a lot at stake. But the biggest risk is our jobs, our economy, and our way of life. President Trump delivered the best economy in nation's history. And President Trump, and President Trump will deliver for us again he will continue to fight for every American, regardless of party affiliation, and continue to stand up for the working class. So today, us six mayors, we write to formally endorse President Donald J. Trump and Vice President Mike Pence for four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. And as duly signed by six Iron Range mayors, myself, Larry Cuffey, the mayor of Virginia, Chris Swanson, the mayor of Two Harbors, John Champa, the mayor of Chisholm, Robert Vysalovich, the mayor of Evelyn, Chuck Novak, the mayor of Ely, and Andrea Zaponsens, the mayor of Babbitt. We're proud to stand before you and re-elect Donald J. Trump and Mike Pence for four more years. <laughs>